friend. Hey, what are you looking so cool, calm, and collected for? I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, this is the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talk and new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh -huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, hey what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet age. <laughs> the Internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a hotly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score... Well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. I'll radio in. Guys, are we ready? Always on time, bro. Christian Phelps, present. Waiting on you. This place is with the creeps, Holmes. Same with this Fed pilot. This Fed chopper's ready to take us. Let's get going. Haines's guy, you gonna take us to your chopper? If you wanna pilot the first leg, I'll take over once you jump. You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump.
Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Great. Oh. Better than an elevator. Ah. Ah, fuck. I'm in the building. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. Sealed. Hold while I gain access. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. They better be. Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run bruteforce.exe. Quick, run bruteforce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Alright, I'm connected. No- I need security like this on my tablet, man. Stop my lady scoping the browser histoire. Take a yoga or meditation break if you need one, bro. I bet you need a cup of java now, right? Am I right? Or a chai enema. I'm like more of a designer than a network programmer, Isig. Dude, so this job is like way, way more technical, where I'm more creative. I probably should have said I don't code anymore. I just design and manage. Okay, I'm connected. Then you are ready to bring down a firewall. Brute force, bitches. Boot it up. Here's some knowledge for your ass. Okay, people. We're rewriting history. Oh, so security is right on top of you. Good work. Start downandout.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Okay. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Chopper ASAP! Get her over the building! I don't want to wait on that chopper! Bring Aren't they meant to try to arrest us? These guys are killers! What's happening over there? This download's taking a
Chopper ASAP! Get her over the building! Arrow is confirmed. Approaching the tower. Motherfuckers! Check the doors! Hurry up! Go! Watch the left side! Here's our lift! The network ain't down yet! Holding over the FIB HQ! Shit! They're coming at us! Move! Check the entry points! What's happening over there? Okay! Your pilot's gone offline. Oh shit, man! Change of plan! Use the backup gear! Make our way down the building, rappel off the side! Man, shit! They're gassing us out! It's just a little smoke, people! Motherfuckers! Check the doors! Check the entry points! That's it! You're done! Get the device! Alright, man! Hey, it's too risky! We gotta deal with these fools before you can move for the fire! Hey, it ain't safe yet! We take care of these guys, then you move for the fire! Any ideas? Dude, I would not know where to start. Maybe like take a screwdriver to him? Of course. Why did I ask? Check this out, man. Jesus. Hey, you gotta see this. Fuck. Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a oh. Oh. No, he didn't make it. Funny, huh, motherfucker? Well, let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. 
This'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? They're mobilizing everyone, all West Coast agents. It's gonna get really nasty in there in a couple of minutes, so, uh... Same old shit, bro. Naked bacon. Oh, right, you mean like with your deal. Um, maybe they call the military or something? D to be honest, the government's taking this kind of badly, like getting emotional. They got mad dudes arriving in Un Momentito. Ground units, air units, every unit. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. To the right, man. Look, by every flash of light in the city. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in L.S. County on the way. It don't look like that for us. Not yet, at least. What's going on on the outside? With you, dog. Let's do this shit. Driver's supposed to be meeting us at the front of the building. Get out of the way. You guys make an honest killer like me. This is not good. Where's our getaway? I'm here! The ambulance! Get in, guys! Hey! Where the driver at? This is not good! Over here, let's go! Right here, let's do this! Over here! Come on! Hey, I'm here! Check me out! Right here! Hey, get in the ambulance! Come on! Bullshit! I say we start shooting! Is this like treason? Are they gonna put us in a hole? How you doing with the cop problem? Hold it together, man! We'll do this! The government don't like people stealing data! We got out of the building! That's the hard part done, you know what I'm saying? So just lose them! You know what they'll do to the douche who took down the bureau? It ain't gonna be nice. It catches, we ain't going to no normal jailhouse, dog. I got it. Prince, DNA, whole thing will be clean. Hey, come on in, man, but don't forget to take your shoes off. Ah, I think Lester let himself in. Come on, assholes! Whole thing will be clean. Come on in, man, but don't forget to take your shoes off. Where'd they go? Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer, I was going to torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fuck it, <laughs> hey. Hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go, come on. Here it is, here it is. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I'd probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Man, it's Trevor, and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. 
Breaky! Lester! Lester needs a drink! Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Helicopter crash shootout and data theft at FIB HQ. A team of criminals broke into the FIB's West Coast headquarters in downtown Los Santos earlier. Witnesses say they saw men parachuting in from a helicopter. The FIB claims to have shot down their helicopter. The aircraft crashed into the building, decimating several floors. The criminals were able to escape the building, and a task force headed by Special Agent Steve Haynes has been set up to bring them to justice. Better than an elevator. Ah, oh, fuck. Who's got eyes? Hey. What? But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just... I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So... Lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean... Not in this so-will-you-buy-me-a-car kind of way, in a completely off-topic, can-you-buy-me-a-car. I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way... I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! All right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. Sort of. Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand... Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Oh, Are you jacking that car? One, this isn't appropriate. Uh, two, you gotta teach me how to do that. Bad dad! Bad dad! Are you gonna take this seriously? Bad dad! So... There was me thinking that you might have grown in our time apart. Can today be the day you take off from being a psycho? 
Oh shit, the police! I don't want to get molested inside! Trevor, one reconciliation at a time. Your uncle Trevor, on the other hand. So, outside, Fabian too. Oh, what a treat! Come on, let's say hi. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you doing? Ah! Ah! I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say Shut up! Uh, uh. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo place. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what, what are you ah! 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! Shut up! Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Lose them! Take off from being a psycho? Holy with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe. If you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. 
You're not gonna get me a Prince Albert, are you? Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my work. Just the ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, ah you fucking prick! Jesus! Ah! Ah! Ow! Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! My God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Stay there. This is gonna make my man tits look enormous. Stop! Ah! Daddy! Mommy! Please! I said I needed security! Don't move! Just relax, okay? Come on! I draw his three pubic hairs. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. There we go. Oh! Nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. That's better. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my. Oh, no, that's my that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Yeah, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Leave me alone. Haven't you done enough? So, there was me thinking that you might have grown in our time apart? Way to show your family, you came. Oh! Ah! ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Now hold it. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> Do it, Dad! Yeah! Dad! Do it! Do, Do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Enough! But knock it off. This is me thinking that you might have grown in our time apart? Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. The traffic makes them crazy. Please, do it for me. Do it for Tracy. I'll try. Michael, kids, let's go. Foolishness and rage for like good. Side. Okay. I'm fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel 
feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal! You're fucking ain't right, I'm deranged! How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it! I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? Are you gonna take us home, then? Fuck, Fuck me! What the fuck? Shit! Mother! Oh, All over my face. Do you have to? Help me! Fuck! Thank fuck I'm medicated. Drive normally! In front of your kids! Can you lose the police so we can get on with the mental health work? something in there. No one else gets this God family. God Not Dr. Reek. Friedlander or my yoga teacher or our tennis coach or the juice guy or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks... You are not having a shootout with the police in our house. Are you gonna take us home then? Stay down! Police! Stop whatever the hell! Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. If you find dead bodies, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. F. Dizzle! Man, please speak like an adult. Franklin, shit, sorry. All right, man. Shit, how you feeling? Good, man. Uh, I'm glad Dad's back behaving normally. Yeah. Well, he needs his family, dog, for real. So you guys should try to be there for him, man, not give him so much shit, all right? Can you do that for me? I guess we can try. Later on, bro. Big Papa. Hey, Jim. It's good to have you back in the house. Shit, yeah. It's good to be back. My neck's, like, totally screwed from sleeping on sofas. Can I get a massage on your medical insurance? No. No, no, you can't. We should have a masseuse on staff now. You're a big movie producer. Let's just get the first show out the door, okay? You coming to the premiere? Oh, yeah. It's like my one hope of getting laid ever. I'm all over it. Weasel News. Laszlo claims he was molested into cutting his hair. Talent show host Laszlo spoke yesterday about the events that caused him to change his appearance. I wouldn't do this to myself. There are dark forces out there, okay? Colts. I mean, Vinewood isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Seriously. Now, if you excuse me, I, I got to go to therapy.
Tracy DeSanta. I'm probably studying, so <laughs> psych. Uh, leave a message and we'll hang. Hell yeah. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. Fine, I'll call someone who can help. You'll be fine. I'll kick your fucking teeth in. Sorry, man. Piece of shit, fuck you. Hey, Angel, did you deal with that problem? You did, actually. Without even lifting a finger. Wow, I ain't so bad after all, am I? Uh, you are pretty bad. Lazy parenting at its finest. I had to pay some dudes to scare the creepo. Or <laughs> you paid some dudes to scare him. I did. How much? Ten grand. Well done, Pop. Great work. Shit. Yeah, well, Kiflom yourself too, buddy. Later. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Michael, what is this? Are you coming? I'm coming. First I'm scared, and then I'm bored, and then I'm bored of being scared, and now I'm scared of being so bored I won't see the creep creeping on me. Uh... I'm coming. Baby, are you all right? No! Shit, what did he do? What the fuck did he do? Nothing. I paid some dudes to handle him. Then what's the fucking problem? I waited, like, forever for you. That's the problem. About six UC guys tried to pick me up for hooking. You are the worst dad ever! Shit! So let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Being hot is like worse than being an ethnic minority or poor. In the car, let's go! Daddy, Daddy, get in, we're going! Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Can you drive normal, please? Drive normal? I thought this was an emergency. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, oh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's a Drive carefully! Hello? I like this car. You're a menace! You around here? She already had a sugar daddy. I'm her father, not a sugar daddy. You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks. Very entrepreneurial. Fuck you, asshole! Ha ha! How you like that? We're all adults here. Let's act mature. This is Los Santos. <laughs> You just killed him! I can't believe- ah! Shit. Ah! 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 Ah!
I'm sorry. Thanks, Daddy! Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? David, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we're like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please! You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Yes! 
You're gonna die, bitch! I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of... Uh, ah! So tell me, Davey! officers are en route to your current location. Be careful, Davey! Oh, crap! Got a little something, something to do with, with being, being caught in the middle, middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, Listen, I've been meaning to. Uh, you know, I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to tell you, you know. I mean, what, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what Clear the fuck did you come way. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? 
I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then, you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh... Still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off... All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again! So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Oh, Michael, 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 what would you do without me? Hey, Trevor, what's up? Nothing much. Good to hear a friendly voice. So, I heard that Michael dude ain't dead no more. Yeah, for a fat lying shit, he's surprisingly resilient. What you gonna do? That's the question. That is the question. Listen, I gotta go. Weasel News. City in panic. Massive shootout involving IAA, FIB, Merriweather, and unknown terror elements. The War on Terror. We lead with the horror show at the court center, where a terror incident was foiled by a combination of forces from the FIB and the IAA. Some witnesses even believe Merriweather Security Services may have helped calm things down. Scott McSimmons is at the scene. Yes, it's carnage here, and also not a little confusing. No one is quite sure what happened, but thanks to their utter professionalism, our security forces were able to have people at the scene of the crime almost as soon as it began. An attempt to arrest a terror suspect seems to have gotten into a gun battle. No one is quite sure what comes next for a city in panic. Back to you, Sheila. Very worrying. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I... Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits, wolves, and turds clothing. Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films. Now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least, let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport, talk to her, that's it. Slow 
like you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not gonna stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. on the plane crash. We have received the black box data recording of the conversation that the pilot was having in the cockpit as the plane was going down. Let's take a listen. Mayday, Mayday, Tower 1-4. This is Dorito Blanco Tango Bravo. I'm missing my left wing and engine. We are going down. We are currently in a downward vertical spiral going Mach 6. If anyone could get a picture, that'd be pretty lit for the documentary they're gonna make on this. Uh, I'm gonna alert the passengers to brace themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. If you look out the left side of the plane, you will see that we don't have a f***ing wing. If that's not already obvious, that is a problem. I'm gonna turn on the fasten seatbelt sign, even though I can already hear you guys all around me. 
back there. Uh, my co-pilot is in the bathroom, so that's going to be a terrible time. But don't worry, I'm going to try to land this bitch in this cornfield. Uh, let me turn on some music. Oh, oh. Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course. It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Devin. Hey, look, I'm sorry. My legal counsel. It was an accident. I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, lawyers come and go. But you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something that I am not going to forget. Namaste. Devin West. Hey, buddy, your friend Michael is a dangerous guy to be around. Well, guess what? I'm a dangerous guy, too. And we'll be until I get the cash that need to be paid. Hey, Michael is fucked with the wrong guy. The chips are falling, and you better make sure you're on the right side of the table, pal. I'm fucking pretty sure I'm where I need to be. Weasel News. Terror at the airport. A frightening scene at Los Santos International. Reports say there are multiple casualties and millions of dollars of damage. Terrified travelers fled for their lives as a high-speed chase across the runway involving police and unknown assailants left a trail of destruction in its path. This traveler was sympathetic. I don't care who died. My flight's delayed now. Busy Y, reload. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? Look, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. 
He just another nigga from the hood. Him stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterward. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man, I'm in a beautiful bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he's on the Polito Bay at some sawmill with some balls. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a backdoor to the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Like this schoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Let's just say this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede box over there. <laughs> yeah, Tell Trevor I said fight me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. Now, Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't wanna be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, Me, How did you come all the way out here? Man, I ain't gonna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Before I get killed, opportunity. Man, you... <laughs> so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if you have fucking with the homies, nigga, you feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but that was real shit, my nigga. Uh, you know you nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slime me a few dollars or something, you know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in a second. Oh, shit, nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, know you don't win all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leave the street niggas in the back. Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, thank you, I guess. You pay me for all the work a nigga put in for you getting the cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for the motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off your motherfucking front. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving me, nigga, in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you will get some work. But instead, you wanna be this gang banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Goldcard. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dog? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga. If you remember what that is. Oh, what's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done. Hey, man. You ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? See, Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Nobody, don't worry about it, nigga. Hey, lost an ass, nigga.
<laughs> nigga. So I guess, I guess what we learned is. Couldn't they have popped him in the suburbs? If you got another one today, there's a big surprise. Hey, Trevor, dog, I was gonna call you. LD, why's that? To thank you, dog. Coming up to that fucking sawmill, mashing up them ballers? Hey, what are friends for? Man, loyalty's a hard thing to come by, my dog. You's a real homie. Franklin called me. Thank him, man. Mm -hmm. See ya. Patricia. Trevor. Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. Is he, uh, Martin? Is he treating you well? If you ever... You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Patricia. I really miss... I have to go. Hey, little homie. Homie? Man, I ain't your fucking homie. Giving Lamar to the ballers? Lamar ain't tripping off that shit. You shouldn't either. Ain't tripping. Homie learned a lesson. That's OG's prerogative. Man, that's fucked up shit, Stretch. Man, you better pray I don't see your ass for real. Punk ass bitch. You have any idea who you talking to? Oh, it's you. Mr. Disloyalty got time to call, huh? Stress sold you out to the ball, and I'm Mr. Disloyalty? For real? Man, you better get your fucking facts straight, homie. I'm straight, homie. You the one going all crooked. If you'd have been there, I wouldn't have fell for that stress shit. Shit, man. Man, whatever, homeboy. Don't let them fools come at you again, dog. I might not get word next time. Whatever, nigga. I gotta go. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Dad, why didn't you tell us about the premiere? Mom and Tracy are, like, freaking out trying to get ready for the red carpet. Oh, yeah. Shit. Sorry. I should have given you more warning. It kind of crept up on me. Have you actually got a tux? No. I gotta pick one up at Ponsonby's. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. So, how did the job search go today? Uh, let me know if you need help. Sure, get in the back, out. Pop! Get in the back, Pop! Back, Pop! Get in the back, Pop! Get in the back, Pop! Ah, shit. Huh? That shit ain't get in the back, Pop! Get in the back, Pop! Get in the back, Pop! The back, Pop! I paid this guy to drive us! Producer? Are you joking? Come on! Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo, my dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna write out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the street's edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. B to the I to the P. Jimmy! Read my neck rolls. Entitled. E N T. Uh, titled. Because I am. Jimmy! Oh, pop chill. I'm done spraying the shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, 
I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. Check it out. Champagne, Jimbo. Producer's kid! Jim! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards, Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Uh, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go She's over here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo! Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here, unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? W what's happening? Where's Mom? Happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. What are you waiting for? Oh, shit. Fuck, fuck. Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. You gotta save them, Pop. Be careful, Dad. Daddy's home, you pricks. He says he's 
get all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. Good though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Get them out of our house, Get out of here! Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right. Blood so sticky. Hey, you missed the show, buddy. Trouble at home? You came for my family, asshole? Oh, I thought going after women was fair game. Molly died in an accident while following your orders. And I'm sorry for that, okay? Well, accidents happen, don't they? Hey, send your private army after me if you have to, pal. I won't be hiding. Listen, depends on one thing, and one thing only. A steady supply of idiots. Yeah, um, I, I'm sorry, I can't place it. Meltdown, of course! Michael, what happened? You weren't at the party! I didn't even get to the screening. Dead and Weston made things personal. Look, you gotta stay away from me for a while. Is this about Molly? I'll call you in a few weeks when this thing dies down. It was great working with you, Solomon. The best thing that ever happened to me. Shit, Frank, you know some guys who tried to kill us at the house? Man, fuck, who? Uh, Devin Weston, that rich investor guy? Pretty weird. Damn, Devin fucking Weston, huh? Of course. I told your dad he was bad people. Did he come for you, too? Nah, shit, nothing like that. But he did rob me, man. Is everyone okay? Yeah, yeah, we're gangster, dog. Oh, uh, shit. Okay, man, look, look after yourself, all right? Close. Trace? Dad! 
Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Breaking news. A movie debut has people buzzing, possibly for all the wrong reasons. Meltdown hits theaters. Movie news. Solomon Richards' new movie, Meltdown, is now in theaters, and audiences are divided. Some have described it as derivative Vinewood pap, but others quite enjoyed it. I really liked the film, and the end was heartwarming. The dubbing on the talking monkey felt a little 1980s, though. In the back, huh? You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you didn't make a pretty shitty movie. But thanks, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up tonight. Uh, of course they will. Thanks, Antonio. Be nice and tight. Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on! The girls might be in trouble at the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I gotta say in it. What? You fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay, you'll be fine. You're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's gonna... The fuck are you doing? What happened to Tracy? We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girl. Clear the building. No one leave. Fire in the hole. Not yet. Stay put. Neither do I. Just keep calm. It's just an online persona. Uh, it was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Can't do it, son. Get yourself out of this mess. Okay, well, how much of my father's money do you think it'll take to get me out of this situation? Stalin, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Hey, eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king and bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! Me! Ow. That's my voice!
Let me take you home. Thank you! Shit! Fuck, man! Do you, you think... Do you think it's over? Yeah, 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 he's gone. Are you sure? The troll is back the in his fuck, lair. Dude? His lair. Now stay off the internet for a while, and don't wind people up so much. I learnt my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax accountant. So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And yeah, Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Could I squeal like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet! <laughs> in a bit of heat, a few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name! Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry, another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck y'all. Fuck you! It's all right, all right, enough! Enough! Thank you! Okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one, we hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out, and we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to AR escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, making them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. We'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Whichever has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's gotta be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. We'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again, I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, uh, you've gotta get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your sense. I heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? You want me to flip a coin? We're all waiting! What's it gonna be? The suspense is killing me. It ain't that complicated. Come on. Jesus Christ. Hey, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kinda fruity if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work. As long as we're ready to move now. Come on. I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. Alright, let's go. What do I have to get? Well, we've we'll got a lot to do. First of the UD gun is modded in the locker. Thanks for letting me know. The first one of those cars is ready to go, Mo. Mo? Oh, Mo Lester. Yeah, very good. Hey, Lester. First gauntlet's ready to go. All right, that's good work. The second gauntlet's in the lockup, modified and ready. Oh. Third and final gauntlet, primed and ready. We got the third one of them cars last. The third gauntlet's bigger. Yeah, we're done in everything. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. That'll do it. Take it around to the lot. Police vehicles go in the lot. I don't care if it's the chief of police's car, you can't leave it here. That belongs in the lot oh, over shit. there. And put the weapon away, bud. Hey, you can't carry a weapon like that. Put your weapon away, sir. Can you holster your weapon, sir? Put the weapon away or I'll ask for a license. That's a restricted area. LSPD only back here. You don't have a badge, you can't go back there, sir. Hey, bud, the 80s are over. No point in posing anymore. It's glorified traffic duty. We all know it. The highway's that way, bro. You're under arrest! Uh, you can't go in there! I'm off in a couple hours. Let's see that new one. The one that just came out. It's about the finance guys. What's it called? Meltdown. 
Anton Bartolaire, yeah. A lot of buzz. They're talking statues. It's a... We got some of those spice strips for you, D-Job, man. All right, so, I've been getting some police singers for the big one, Lester. I'm guessing you ain't been up to much. Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll be at the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, we get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you dude. Okay, all right, all right, ladies, we gotta move. Come on. Can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Right now. You can't be here. Back up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That fat animal is totally useless. Hey, I got this big-ass drill thing. Good, there's a guy working at the parking lot around from the Union Depository. He'll let you in. See, all right, dog. Come here, little fella. I had an agent police, okay? Just pop the truck over there. Your guy was cool, Left. The drill's in that lot. The tunnel bore machine is at the lot. Your guy better be dependable, Lester. All right, Lester. The drill's at the lot. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. What's rude on you? Hey, how's it, man? How's it, man? Get the boyfriend! It tracks swift, so it's gonna divert. Okay, I'm almost at the chopper. Track's been flipped, Michael. Where are you? I don't know. All this sand looks the same to me. I think I'm almost there. Sightings flip. Well, good for you. I still ain't at this alley. I got to go ahead. Said you wanted a train? I got you a train, Lester. Not... But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. Once we've got the getaway vehicle, we're good to go. We can use for the getaway. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, I got something that'll be good for the getaway. I'll call again when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Hey, I got something we can use for the getaway. I'm gonna put it in that garage and I'll call you back. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Franklin, you greedy prick! <laughs> 